Hey, Brian. Oh, hey, Stewie. Listen, have you seen my play? You know, Stewie, I have seen your play, and it is exhilarating to me. A child's play is one of the most beautiful things in the world. Continue to play, little one. You're our future. What the f*** are you talking about? The play I wrote, have you seen it? Uh, I don't know. Let me call my lawyer. <laughs> Hello, I'm being cross-examined. <laughs> no, I, I haven't I haven't seen it. Really? Because I had it sitting right on my table. I said I haven't seen it. All right, and what does it matter? It was terrible anyway. We've had this conversation. Do yourself a favor and move on. Well, that's interesting, Brian, because I found this buried in the backyard next to your soup bowl. <gasps> Stewie, I, I... You tried to destroy it, didn't you? I knew my play was good, just like I knew your play was a mediocre patchwork of hackneyed ideas and tired cliches. You have no idea how hard it was to sit in that theater with all those braying hyenas. Couldn't you tell something was up when Chris and the fat man could follow the plot? I mean, it took Peter a year to figure out Stuart Little. I just figured it out. Stuart means mouse. No, Peter. Little means mouse? No, Peter. I feel so old and in the way. It's still a good play. It's filled with terrible double entendres, puns, and stolen bits. There's a line in there from Seinfeld. I never saw that episode. I have a voice. Do you understand that? A writer needs a voice, and I have one. You don't. Your play panders to the lowest common denominator, Brian, and, and it doesn't even do that well. Shut up! May every person that laughs at your sophomoric effort be a reminder of your eternal mediocrity and pierce your heart like a knife.